Plaque psoriasis, also known as psoriasis vulgaris, is like the most common type of psoriasis, accounting for about 80 to 90 percent of cases. It's a chronic autoimmune disorder that messes with the skin, causing those rise red patches covered in flaky, silvery scales. Those patches called plaques can show up anywhere on the body, but they usually like to hang out on the skull, elbows, knees and lower back. Most of the time, usually it's not too bad and can be treated outside of the hospital. So who does this psoriasis party affect? Well, pretty much anyone can get it, but it usually pops up between the age of 15 and 35. It doesn't care about a gender or the background either. Nobody knows exactly what causes it, but it seems to be a combo of genetics and the environment. Alright, let's talk symptoms. When you have got plaque psoriasis, you will see things like bumpy red patches with silvery scales, dry, cracked skin that might even bleed, itchy, burning or sore spots in those affected areas, nails that get all thick and pitted, and sometimes the joint hurt and get swollen too. That is called psoriatic arthritis. Now there are a few things that make you more likely to get psoriasis. It's like having a higher chance of winning the lottery, but not as fun. Here's what can up your odds. If someone in your family has psoriasis, you might be next in line. If your immune system has some degree of deficiency, like if you have got HIV or AIDS, or you are taking medication to suppress your immune system, you are at a higher risk for plaque psoriasis. Being overweight can also be a factor. That extra weight and fat release inflammatory chemicals that make psoriasis worse and more likely to happen. Both men and women can get it, but some studies say men might have a slightly higher risk. Certain anything in the environment can trigger or make your plaque psoriasis worse. Things like cuts, burns or infections on your skin, stress, smoking, drinking too much, certain medications like lithium, antimalarial and beta blockers, or hormonal change can all play a role. Age matters too. While you can get psoriasis at any age, it's most likely to show up between 50 and 35. As you get older, the change drops a bit. And it doesn't matter what background you come from, psoriasis doesn't discriminate. But some studies say it's more common in people of Caucasian and European descent. So, how do doctors figure out if you've got plaque psoriasis? They'll usually give you the once over and ask about your history. Sometimes they might even take a biopsy of the affected skin and look at it under a microscope to be sure. Can we prevent plaque psoriasis? Well, not really, but there are some things that we can do to manage it and keep flares up in check. First is to avoid triggers like stress, injuries to skin, certain medications and infections. Second, live a healthy lifestyle, having a healthy diet, exercise and find ways to deal with the stress. And the last one is to keep the skin wet by moisturizing, using gentle cleansers and not using harsh products. When it comes to treating plaque psoriasis, the goal is to control the symptoms, calm the inflammation and prevent flare-ups. The treatment depends on how bad it is, but here are some common options. First is using some creams or ointments onto the skin. Some of them are corticosteroids, vitamin D supplements, retinoids, salicylic acid, cold tar stuff, and moisturizers. They help with the redness, itchiness, and scaling. Second is to get some light therapy. The doctor will use special UV lights on the skin, and it can help slow down those extra skin cells from growing too fast. For the really bad cases or when creams and light aren't cutting it, the doctor might give some stronger medication to take. This can be oral retinoids, methotrexate, cyclosporine, or neurodrugs like TNF-alpha inhibitors, interleukin inhibitors, or PDE4 inhibitors. And finally, making some lifestyle change can help too. Find ways to chill out, exercise, 
he tried and cut back on smoking and drinking alcohol. Home remedies won't cure plaque psoriasis, but they can give some relief alongside the medical treatment. Here are a few things we can try. First is to slather on some moisturizer to keep the skin hydrated and stop the itch. Take warm baths with oatmeal, Epsom salts, or oil to soothe the skin. Three is to using over-the-counter hydrocortisone creams for mild symptoms. Stay away from harsh soups and products that can irritate the skin. And finally, find ways to manage stress like chilling out, meditating, or counseling someone who can help.